Hey, hey guys, let's look at some geometry today. And uh, this is, we're gonna start with adjacent angles. Adjacent just means next to. That's a general word in English that means next to something, okay? Now, naming angles. Uh, this is a triangle. You can do, uh, you know, you can name this, let's say we're talking about this angle here. If it doesn't share anything with any other uh, lines or angles, you can just say angle B and everybody knows what you're talking about. Same thing for, you know, angle C, we all know what you're talking about. Angle B, or angle A, yeah, we know what you're talking about. Okay, what you can also do by naming angles is you will, if you wanna use three letters, um, and you'll, you'll see this in a second, what you would do is to name this angle, you'd go, this is angle A, B, C. Or you could say, well, this is angle C, B, A. You could say the same, same thing. As long as that, uh, this letter is in the middle to indicate what angle it is. Now, if you want to name this angle, or you could probably figure out this is going to be B, C, A, right? Or it could be A, C, B, right? Same thing for the A. You could go B, A, C is this angle. Or you could see C, A, B is that angle. Okay, and that's how a, a, a vertex is basically, this is a vertex. This is the middle part of this angle. Now this plural of vertex, this goes back to Latin, is vertices, not vertexes. It's vertices, V-E-R-T-I-C-E-S. Okay, that's a third declension feminine Latin, if you're a Latin person. Okay, anyway. All right, names of angles. These are homeschool angles. So whatever you name them, if it's a girl, the middle name has to be Grace. No, okay, I'm just kidding. That's all right, a little homeschool dad joke there. Okay, well, let's try an angle here. Let's say you go, this is your angle. And you can't say, oh, look, it's angle A. There you go. Because the person's going to go, well, wait a minute. You, you mean angle A? That's in the middle. I mean, do you mean this angle? Because A is in the middle of that angle. That's the vertex of that angle. Oh, and A, by the way, is also the vertex of this angle. Oh, and by the way, it's also the vertex of this giant angle. So you can't, in this case, you just can't say, oh, look, angle A, because you're there are several different choices. You can't tell. So what you want to do is you'd go, okay, well, I'm going to go, let's say that'd be angle M, A, you know, B, which means you could go M, A, B. Of course, you notice that C is also a point on that side of the angle. So it could also be MAC, it's the same thing, right? This arrow indicates that it goes on an infinite you know, length. So you could do either one of those, okay? You could also say BAM or CAM, that will tell you that angle, this one right there. Now, if you wanted to do this angle, you'd have to say something like CAY. You could say, or you could say CAX or you know, BAX or BAY or XAB or XAC or YAC and so on. Now, if you want to name this entire big honking thing right there, you'd have to say that's going to be angle MAX, or you could say MAY, or YAM, or XAM. That's, that, that's what you'd have to do. Just make sure you differentiate if some one angle has, if several angles have the same vertex, they share the same vertex. Okay, all right. Adjacent, we talked about what that means. It's next to each other. In other words, you would say angle MAB is adjacent to angle CAX. They're right next to each other. They share uh, a vertex as a side, or a line as a side. Okay, the complementary, you should make sure you know what this word means. If you have complementary angles, let's say you have an angle like this, and this is a right angle, and there's an angle here, and then there's another angle here. Two angles that add up to 90 degrees, that is by definition complementary. Two angles that add up to 180 degrees are called supplementary. So if you have two angles that are adjacent and like this, and then there's another angle right there, well, a straight line is the same thing as having two 90 degree angles, so that's 180, okay? And that's the definition, okay? The measure of these angles, let's basically, let's, let's take a look here. Angle ABC, so here's angle ABC. We're looking at this one right here, okay? Well, they show you on this drawing that this entire thing, those two, I mean, this, this covers 180 degrees, right? There's 90 degrees here and also 90 degrees there. They also tell you that this part of it is 30 degrees. So what this is going to have to be, ABC a, is going to have to be um, something that added to 30 equals 90 degrees. So that'll be 60 in that case. DEF will be this angle right here. Well, you know these two angles are supplementary. They're right next to each other and they add up to a straight line, or in other words, 180 degrees. So if this is 45 degrees, this will be 180 minus 45 degrees, which is 135. There you go, okay. Measuring angles, you need a protractor. If you go ahead and get one, you'll be using it for the ones in your book. 
Um, so, you know, if you're looking at something like this, and let, this is the measure of the angle right here, you will put this, your protractor over this, and you'll be able to go, well, if you look at this, this line either goes between 130 and 140, or it goes between 40 and 50. Now, if the angle is only from here to here, like in other words, this is a 90 degree angle, okay? So you know this angle right here, from here to here, is gonna be less than 90, so you would choose in this case right between 40 and 50, 45 degrees. If it were like this, and the angle started over here, and then it went like, oop, well, that's pretty lame, <laughs> like that, well, you know this is 90, the whole thing would be bigger, so that would be 135 degrees, okay? All right, on 305 and 306 are practice problems. Um, I'm just gonna go over a few of these answers. You can measure these and check them yourself if you want to, but let's just go ahead and pause it and let's talk about it in a second. Okay, I'm assuming you've paused it here. Um, the measure of all these angles, well, let's, let's just do, uh, let's see, 305 is back here, my bad. A, the supplement of an angle is 40 degrees. What's the measure of the angle? It's gonna be 50, because it, oh, excuse me, It'll be 140, my bad. Supplement is, adds up to 180. B, the complement of an angle measures 40. That's where the angle, that angle, and B would be 50 degrees. Okay, let's go to C. Name the obtuse angle. I'm gonna name it Bethany Grace. Okay, that's a homeschool dad joke again. Okay, C, uh, the obtuse angle would be the um, one on the left. Obtuse angles, did we even talk about those? Obtuse angles are more than 90 degrees. The acute angle would be the one that's less than 90 degrees. That would be the one on the very right. And the, of course, the right angle is right in the middle. Okay. I'm not going to go over all of those answers from F to M. Just look in the back of your book for those answers in the key. But make sure that whatever one you choose, that you're choosing the one that is appropriate to it. In other words, if the angle is more than 90 degrees, don't choose 35 degrees you know, as the measure when there are two of them like this. So, okay. That's it for today. See you guys next time.